I was just learning to, to pull my own ripcord, and uh, my jump master was Bob Jones, and I jumped out of the plane, and I did an arch, I rolled over on my back, I went, oh, you know, crap, I gotta pull this ripcord. I pulled it and I watched the parachute come up between my legs, wrap around one leg three times, came up, wrapped around my left arm, all the lines went out, and I had what's called, uh, the today's standards, it's called a horseshoe malfunction, because when you're standing on the ground, and you see somebody that's having this problem, you see a person, but you see what looks like a, a horseshoe, and that's the parachute and lines and everything above them. Well, normally you want to get rid of all that stuff because if you pull a reserve, there's a high risk of the reserve entangling in it, and then, of course, you're going to get killed. But there's no way to get rid of a horseshoe. It's tangled on you. So I went ahead and pulled the reserve, and the reserve came out and hit the horseshoe. Half the reserve went up one side of the horseshoe, half went up the other, and it looked like it was going to tangle, when suddenly it just slipped off, inflated, and then all the stuff just rained down on me, all the garbage. But I had a parachute above me, and I landed, and of course my heart was doing this, and Bobby, uh, Bob Jones came up to me, my jump master, and he goes, man, I didn't think you were gonna make it, I didn't think you were gonna make it, and he goes, I'm never jump master again, and he never did, that was just, I was his last dude that scared me that bad. Uh, there have been uh, numerous times, probably as a guest, 25 or 30 times when uh, the uh, main parachute failed to deploy properly, and I did have to use my reserve, and uh, you know, that, that's part of the game, is, uh, that's why you, uh, not only for common sense and rules and regulations, but that's why you take two parachutes, so that just in case. Uh, Joni was really, really unique. Uh, I remember one time we were talking, she goes, I want to be a wing walker. And I said, really? She goes, yeah, I, want to, I go out there, I, do, I only wear a parachute, and I'll go wing walking. And I said, Joni, you can't just go out wing walking without getting the whole routine down. you got to wear a parachute. I don't need a parachute. I would, I would fall off. She goes, one of these days, though, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go out and do some wing walking. And I said, okay, Joni. That's, that's how, that was the mind set of thoughts. You know? well, I think I just couldn't let go of that plane. And so I turned sideways and my cheeks were just in this tight grip on the airplane and he said, go, in this British airborne voice. And I just froze and he said it three times. And then he said, circle around again. And I thought, damn, if I'd have gone the first time it would be over with by now. So I had to sit in the plane again and go all the way around. And then the next time he said, okay, get your feet out. So I put my feet out and he said, get closer to the door and I got closer to the door and I hung about as far as I'm hanging off this chair. I was in a death grip with the airplane and he said, go, the second time. And then he said, go, and he pushed me with his foot and kicked me out. And I opened my eyes and the horizon was like this and I, I, was, I could hardly breathe, but I could breathe. And I noticed that the horizon got kind of level again. And then I thought, oh my God, there's something about steering this thing. Now I have to steer it, oh my God. But I did find the, the airport and I found the pea gravel and I landed. I don't know, I could see the pea gravel from where I landed and, and I lived. She was out there, but she always had a, a little sadness about her. And I, I think she had a sadness about her before she ever broke up with Dave. There, she just had a little sad quality about her. What I learned from her death was the value of uh, living your life to the fullest and to do what you're passionate about. And she did. Uh, it cost her her life, but you know, in life there, there it's a cliche, but there are no guarantees. And what she taught me, and, and what that experience taught me, is is how important it is to not waste a day. Don't waste a day. Love, time, go, but it's